So far, we've been really focusing on getting data into our templates and showing data and binding data into our templates. Now we can start to get to the fun stuff. This is where the interaction from our user starts to work into our applications. View lets us handle events really easily, and we've done a little bit of that work so far, but let's get more into depth so that we can get our applications far more interactive than they have been so far. We're going to go back over to VS Code, and here's our 06 folder index.html. Yep, 06, handling events. We're going to do two simple examples in this one. First, I'd like to create a counter, which you'll see this on the view docs, and I think it's a really good example to kind of bring everything full circle. And we're going to create crazy buttons, which if you saw our getting started with JavaScript course, we did that in that course with plain JavaScript. Here we're going to have h1 title, and we'll say counter in here. And let's use some bulma classes. We'll say box just to get a little white border on it. We'll say content and we'll say has text centered. And inside of here, we're going to have a count. And then as we click a button, we're going to increment that number as it goes up and up and up every time we click. Super simple example, but a very, very, but a very good one. H2 inside here title is one just to get some sizing on it and we'll show off a count. And we'll do that really quickly. We'll say element is the ID of app, and we're gonna have data, and we'll have a count that starts at zero. So far we have our counter at zero. Very good. Now we're gonna create a button, and we'll say a class is button is danger. And every time we click this button, we're gonna count up. So how do we do that? We're gonna listen for the click event on this button. And the way we do that is V on click. And if you need to know all of the HTML DOM events that we can listen to, we're gonna go over here, HTML DOM events. And this W3Schools one is a very good reference. As we scroll down, we'll see mouse events. We have click, context menu, double click, mouse down, mouse enter, and mouse enters pretty much hover, mouse out, keyboard events. We did key up when we listened for that input when people were typing. Frames, forms. Uh, the one we'll use mostly on forms is on submit. Drag events, and this goes on and on. These are all of the native events that we can listen for. And these come off of our HTML DOM, and we'll use view to listen to these events. So very good reference. Definitely take a look at that. But here, we're going to say V on click. And we're going to say increment counter. This will look at a method inside of our view instance. So we're going to need a methods object. And inside of here, increment counter is a function. What we'll do is we're just going to say this.count. And we can do this two different ways. We can say is equal to this.count plus one, or we can simplify that syntax down into plus equals one. Now, as we save it, let's see what happens here. We click, and our counter goes up. And notice how as soon as we change this.count in the data, our template automatically updates itself right here. And that's the beauty of view is everything is reactive. So as our data changes, our template changes, and everything is updated correctly. Again, we can use the V on shorthand, and we'll copy that over. We'll comment that out, and then we'll say at click. And that's the shorthand for using V on versus the V bind, which is just the colon. Now imagine if we had to do this in plain JavaScript. Let's comment this out, and we'll come up here. And just to demonstrate really quickly how much more code that we would have to write, we'd have to get the actual place where we have the counts. We'll say const count position is equal to document.query selector. And this is where our writing gets tedious when we have to go grab all these DOM elements. And this would be the h2.title. And then down here, we'd say const increment button is equal to document. Doc. If I could spell correctly, document. Doc query selector, and that's button, and 
that would be dot button. And then we would listen for the event on the increment button, dot add event listener, click, and then we would say increment counter. And we would have a function increment counter, which would actually get the event, the actual native DOM event out of our button. We want to make sure that this button doesn't jump around. So we'd say e.prevent default because normally a button will get you to the top of the site. So we want to prevent that. And also if you want to do that in view, which is really helpful, especially if you're submitting forms, you could say click prevent. So we'll have e.prevent default. And the thing is here, we have to get the count. So let's create a default count. Count is equal to zero. All right, so we have count position increment button. And on start, we would have to make sure that our button count is correct. So we would say count position dot inner text is equal to count. Okay. And then once we actually hear the click event, we would say we would increment the count, count plus equals one. And then we would actually increment that and dump that into the position. And we would have that. And I believe that should be enough. So we'll count up. That doesn't work. Let's inspect console assignment to constant variable. And that is true. We have const count, but we can't reassign it. So we have to do let const only can be assigned once. Count up. And there we go. So here we have our plain JavaScript working. And here's our view working for us. But you can notice the view is a little bit more readable. You have your methods and it's clear where everything is moving and going. So we'll comment all this out and go back to the view side of things because that is a little bit more fun. Very good.